I'm back. I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. If I don't get it started soon, I'm going to be out of products. Let's talk about it. Yeah, today is what? Sunday, January 8th or 9th. I've not been to the Dollar Tree in a few days, but on um, one of my first trips, and I think it was January 1st when I was going to Omi's, I found the Little Bite Party Cake Muffins. And here's a an empty pack. Like I said, I bought it a week ago. There are uh, five pouches of four muffins, and they're all gone. But I think they're almost $4 at a regular store. I don't know. Let me see here. Suggested retail, $5.79. Now, I'm not going to give $5.79 for it, but I'll give a dollar and a quarter for it. So, when the boys needed a snack, Mamma needed a snack, we had the little muffins. And they are by Entimans. Entimans. Some of this haul is going to be stock up. Some of it's some fun stuff because I had the boys with me the day I went on uh, Eli's birthday. Was it his birth? When we went to Michelle's to celebrate his birthday. I think that was January the 2nd when we went to Michelle's. 2nd or 3rd? 2nd, I believe. <laughs> so, they helped me pick out a few items. I'll show you those first. Eli said he'd like to get some Oreo Funfetti. It's a vanilla premium, excuse me, cupcake mix. Do you see my nails? I'm trying them on. I'll tell you about them at the end of the video. If, the, if they don't all fall off before then, did you see that? <laughs> Yeah, I'm having a little issue, but I'll tell you about it. Fun Eddie Vanilla Premium Cupcake Mix Cookie Pieces. So I got one of those. Eli loves and Kenny loves chocolate. So I bought one of the Pils Pillsbury Traditional Chocolate. Eli actually wanted this plus cream cheese icing which I believe I have right here. Yeah, that's what he wants. So I got that and the cream cheese icing, Pillsbury. And I bought one other one, Fun Eddie Pillsbury Cake Mix with Candy Bits. Makes 24 cupcakes. And they have a lot of fun, uh, that's about two cream cheese icings. That nail's not going to stay on. And a vanilla icing. Pillsbury. It is, how many ounces? You can tell I'm discombobulated this morning. 140 calories per two tablespoons. Best if used by 23 or 25. I'm not sure how, oh, 10 ounces, 10 ounces. It's smaller than, uh, you know, like the regular size ones, but it's plenty enough for us. So this is a vanilla and that, and that's going in the pantry. We're not using those right now. Kenny the other day, since I didn't have them any cherry pies at the time, he was going to eat some vanilla wafers. Well, I didn't realize between the puddings I made and the boys eating them, I had none left. So I had to stock up, I think about three boxes of the bite size Bud's Best uh, vanilla wafers, six ounces. They used to be seven ounces. Now they're six. But if I'm gonna keep making him a pudding for, <laughs> I did say in my card once a month, but I really meant more than that. I needed some vanilla wafers. So I got about, I think it was three boxes. I put the rest already in the pantry. 
and along the same lines, making sure that nail's going to stay on. I bought like three more boxes of graham crackers, 9.6 ounces for a dollar and a quarter. I figured out if I bought two of these for t and it was two fifty, I still get more ounces. I'd get uh, almost twenty ounces, and it was probably a little bit cheaper than the generic, even at Walmart or one of the other places. So I got a few of those for the pantry. One thing I did, because like I said, I didn't do a lot of shopping at Christmas time for uh, groceries and stuff. I picked stuff up here and there, but the majority of our food I already had here. You know, I'd pick up bananas. I'd pick, and I did that like at the Dollar Tree. Uh, went to Walmart. I'll talk about that later, but I did go to Walmart one time. And it was for Eli's birthday. But we'll talk about that later. But I needed some more milk for my pantry. Because I wanted to make sure. I was making sure that wasn't leaking. Uh, I bought two whole milks. They're 32 ounces. Modern pantry. These are really good. Who was with me? I think it might have been Sherry seeing me buy this. And she says, ooh. They're good. I told her, I said, she ought to try it because we're a family that doesn't really drink milk. I mainly use milk in cooking or when we eat cereal. Eli's not the biggest cereal eater, so usually a quart like this will last us about a week, and I don't have to worry about it going bad. If I don't go to the store, I still have some. I just bought this to this trip, and I think every time I go back, I might buy at least one or two more. I had several in stock on different ones, but we've used them all. But that was the purpose of them, to use them. So I, I went ahead and got two more of those. And I thought I'd show you, they had the Miserous Eden's Kitchen peach halves and syrup. <coughs> Excuse me, 21.9 ounces, 29 point, yeah. I think that's a really great deal. It doesn't say if it's light syrup, heavy syrup, but a lot of times I buy fresh fruit and it doesn't last as long here. Or I might, might want to make a peach dump cake. Or we just eat peaches on their own. So, for that, a dollar and a quarter for that big of a can. And it may not even be a dollar and a quarter now. If I can find my receipt. <coughs> Let me see if I can find my receipt. This may have went down to a dollar. I found the receipt. I had to get a cough drop. I still got that thing going on right here from when I was sick. <coughs> then I had to make sure my pinky nail was staying on. <laughs> we'll talk about that at the end of the video. It was a dollar and a quarter. The reason I was in doubt, a lot of the canned goods now have been marked back down to a dollar. I was wondering if a can this large might have got marked down to a dollar. But this is still a dollar and a quarter. For the pantry. They've already been into these. Mama's not been feeling well. No. So, you heat these up in the microwave for a second or two and have a, a drink and you've got a good snack or a start to your day because we're not big breakfast eaters here. And there's four honey buns that are iced, eight ounces. And for me... That's a good deal. Four for a dollar and a quarter. You can't go wrong. One thing we've not gotten into yet is the banana moon pies. They're the mini. Six mini moon pies. They're six ounces. So that means an ounce of moon pie. A good, you know, portion for a snack. Not the big one. Not the double decker. I love the double deckers. And all they had was the banana, so... Because right now, I'm not doing a lot of cooking. And I've got the stuff to do the cooking. We've been eating quicker stuff here. I've got the stuff to bake, but I'm not up for it. Stuff like this kind of fills in the gap. And for a dollar and a quarter for six little snacks, it's not a bad price, don't you think? So I got one of those. And this time, I thought I'd buy the... The smaller tortilla 
chips, 13.27 ounces. There's 20 corn tortillas in it. And I'm wanting to make some cheese and jalapeno, maybe a little onion. Put maybe something else in it, kind of like an appetizer because my taste is off. And have some snacks, maybe a little ground beef with it, maybe a little chicken with it. Who knows? But I wanted the smaller ones this time, so they had them 20 for a dollar and a quarter. And by Del Barrio. And they last quite a significant amount of time. This one says February 1st to 24. So we still got time. How do my nails look? Better than they did. <laughs> Better than they did. I feel like Elvira. I told Eli, I went in there this morning after he got up because I put these on last night, but my th my th little pinky kept falling off. So I went to bed without the pinky one. Got up and the other four, they did real well. Until I took a shower, and then this one was kind of loose. These are the press-on nails. I'm already talking press-on nails. I would use glue if you intend on going out with them. But this morning, while I was sitting there trying to chill and get my blood pressure down, my pulse rate down, that's what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, I decided to put the pinky back on and try it on this hand. These are not nails that I would wear Every day, I might wear them for a picture or for a video. Then they're going to come off because they're too long for me. I can't wipe my nose hardly. I definitely can't use my phone unless I use this. And that's just from this morning. But this little pinky, for some reason, the pinky ones don't want to stay on good. The rest of them done pretty well. And like I said... These aren't the ones that I would wear. I still have the ones sitting here that I showed. I'm anxious to try. But I will be using these with uh, glue. Oh, see? Y'all reminded me. <laughs> I thought, where'd the other ones go? These are press-on nails. I believe they're going to be the right, you know, length. But I will, more than likely, with these two, put some uh, glue adhesive to it. Because when I put these on, I want them to stay on a while. They would actually match my t-shirt today. So I'm going to put these back here. And these get put up. That's the deal on the nails. See? These were my practice nails. And I think I have one more food item for now. 150 calories a cup. It's mixed fruit and black cherry flavored gel. And it is seven ounces. I will tell you when you can get the four pack fruit with the gel, it would it's cheaper. But they do have the individual. Nice for people to take like for lunches or for a snack. I told Sherry if she was with me that day. I said normally I probably wouldn't pick this one up unless I had to have something like this, and they didn't have the other individual cups. I like the smaller cups better. But I bought one of these, and I know we'll use it. Like I said, I mainly, I don't need a whole lot. I'm trying to stock up in areas, and uh, when I can find things, like sometimes you can't find the graham crackers. I think I almost always find the vanilla wafers, but there's certain things they come and go, and you have to wait on them for a while. And so if I find them, I get them. Zest. I don't think I've thought this one before, and I'm not much for, uh, like, a floral scent. They give me migraines and stuff. But this one is Lush Orchid and Almond Oil. Almond Oil, to me, is a common scent. It's Zest, 28% more bonus size. Two bars. So I bought those. Uh, we pretty much went back to just using bar soap. I do have body washes here. Kenny and I mainly use the bar soaps. So I thought it'd be nice to have a different scent at some point. So I got those while they had them. They had like 
three or four different cents. And for a dollar and a quarter, that's not bad. Let me show you one more. It's a uh, candy Moyo quick dry nail polish in the brick red. 60 seconds to dry. Distributed by Moomy out of Ontario, Canada. Made in China. But it's a drip quick dry polish. So maybe when I'm not trying to wear nails, which I'm simple. That one keeps trying to come off. I'm simple. I probably, I definitely wouldn't wear these on a daily basis. This would, yeah. The round ones, like the one I'm going to try, if they'll stay on, I stay, they'll stay on for quite a while. Trying to let my nails grow out from where I had nails put on. Probably, probably going on a year ago now, and I finally got them all popped off. I need to let my nails grow. Quick dry polish. And this is a quick drop. Quick drop. <laughs> quick dry uh, top and base coat. I hope I'm making sense this morning. I'm just kind of all over the map. That's partly why I'm in the condition I'm in. Yeah, just kind of all over the map right now. But I got those because I used to polish my nails all the time when I was working and stuff. And they would get quite long, but see, I deal with animals now. And that's not always the case. We'll end it there with the polish in my nails. How did they do on the video? They lasted for the video, but I've not had to do anything major. Like I said, when I took my shower, that one kind of come loose, but I was able to connect it back. I put that one on, put this whole hand on this morning. I might come out, <coughs> might come back later after I've rested up and take my meds, come back, do another Dollar Tree haul, cause I've got at least one more. Yeah, I think I've been to the Dollar Tree one too many times. No. You can never go to the Dollar Tree one too many times. Thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my antics. I I do what I can when I can. And, uh, yeah. I think I'll, one of these, boy, I have some stories to tell. You won't believe what I've been into this morning. Eli said, ma'am, I'll read the manual. I can't tell you what it is right now. I said, I did, Eli, but it was confusing. I said, why don't you read it and just show my mom? <laughs> I doubt he'll do it. He might do that, though, because the manual has something to do with something he likes, too. So, who knows? He might help teach my mom. But thank you for watching. And until next time, we'll talk soon.